Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, my kisses. My name is Rosie for short. And today I want to talk about the difference of being cruelty free and vegan in regards to makeup and cosmetics. What is the difference between the two? And I want to be talking about the subject because I've had a few subscribers that have been asking me what is the difference and how you can apply it into your lifestyle. So without talking anymore, let's begin. Okay, so what does it mean to be cruelty free? This can apply in beauty products or household cleaning products. And that means that these companies don't test their products on animals. And some of these animals can include so, so many. And they can be dogs, cats, monkeys, hamsters, guinea pigs, rats, mice, rabbits, and the list goes on and on. And what is it that they do to these animals? And basically, they are blinded, they can be poisoned, and most of them get killed. And what they do is that if you notice when you buy a beauty product, you will see all the ingredients that the label has. Basically, all of those ingredients were tested on animals. These chemicals are applied onto their skin, which will irritate it, it will make them bleed, it will make them not see anymore. And oftentimes, because they want to escape, they end up killing themselves, they break their legs. Uh, it is so sad. I'm gonna leave a few videos in the description box if you want to see it. I just want to warn you, they are graphic, but I think it's really important to be informed about the topic. And that way we can all contribute to ethical brands that believe in using other methods like, for example, they can use artificial human tissue in labs and the other method is the test tube. And basically this will let them know if the ingredient is toxic or non-toxic which are best because no animal has to suffer in the process and it makes sense even humans are so different from one another let's say because a face lotion works well on me doesn't mean it's gonna work for somebody else because we have different skin combinations so just there you can see the difference that it will make on an animal just because it's good or bad on a certain type of animal doesn't mean it's gonna work the same on a human on a person and some of the countries that have banned animal testing altogether is the European Union, Norway, Israel, and India. And one of the biggest countries that do test on animals that require it is China. And for example, here in the US where I live, it is not required by law, but even so, a lot of companies still wanna test on animals. So the question can be, can I be cruelty free but not vegan? The answer is yes. If you're looking into using cosmetics that don't test on animals, then always look for the logo cruelty free on the back of products. And right away, you can make sure they do not test on animals. Just because it's cruelty free, it doesn't mean it's vegan. So what is vegan? So basically, a product can be vegan if it doesn't have any ingredient derived from animals. And that can be milk, eggs, and the most popular, honey and carmine. So basically, carmine is an insect and this is a beetle. So if you will notice, a lot of makeup products that are red will have carmine. So most likely, it could be lipstick, it can be blush. Even in your juice or yogurt and other things that you can consume, it will have carmine. So can a person be vegan but not cruelty free? Yes, you can. A product can be vegan knowing it doesn't have anything derived from animals, but maybe the product has been tested on animals. So putting both together, cruelty-free and vegan in one, means that the product not only was not tested on animals, but also it's vegan at the same time. And that's what I always go for in my channel, on my blog. I'm always looking for beauty products that applies to both because I really believe that we can look great, that we can use makeup to enhance our facial features, but no one, no 
being has to suffer in the process when there are so many ethical and humane alternatives. I really don't want to be part of that. I always want to use my money on these brands that can serve as an example to those that do test on animals and that there are other ways nowadays to know if something is gonna be good or bad for the use of people. And I also want to mention that you can always check for the updated list of PETA for cruelty-free brands. It's always changing because well, let's say a brand could be cruelty-free but then the mother company changes and maybe the mother company do test on animals then some people will stop buying the cruelty-free brand because profits can go to the mother company or another example a brand could be cruelty free in the US but because they want to expand their company and they start selling in China then a lot of people will stop buying from them as well so it's all up to you on the lifestyle that you take and the choices that you want to make and even I have made this mistake where in the past I have made a makeup tutorial and I thought the brand was still cruelty free and I didn't know the company had started selling elsewhere where they do require animal testing so I do recommend that you always check the updated list this is always changing every few months so that's it you guys I hope this was so helpful for those of you trying to make a lifestyle change and for those of you transitioning more to a cruelty-free lifestyle. So if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it or you can subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Kisses. Bye.